everyone. So this is the last video in the kindergarten, kindergarten series um, curriculum pick for homeschool. There are two resources that I wanna show you. Um, the first one I'm gonna share, um, I'm gonna show, have a little screen um, grab up here to show you what it is, but it's Generation Genius. Um, you, it, it has a membership, but you could use it for free easily. Um, and I like that this program is super cool. So basically they provide a video for your child to watch. You have questions, they have a teacher resource area. So you, they give you questions that you can ask before the video, after the video. They also give you a science experiment or a DIY of some sort, like a project that goes along with the video. They give you vocabulary words and they give you test questions um, and review questions. So um, the way this looks is I would have my daughter look at the video. I would ask the pre-video questions. I would have her look at the video um, and she would enjoy it, it's very entertaining. Afterwards, and we'll go over the questions, the post questions that they provide for you. Um, and we will go over the questions and we'll have conversation about what she learned. Then, so that would be one day. The next day we did science like twice a week. The next day we would do science lab science lab and we would do complete the hands-on activity or the DIY um, and so she would do the DIY and then we re we would review the vocabulary that is assigned for that particular video and we would also do other resources like other YouTube videos or um, we have a collection of DK books so we'd also bring out the DK books and kind of explore that together um, and that's how we did science Oftentimes when we had unit studies, it, it was really science-based unit, stu unit studies. Um, and we would have books as well that would go along with that. So check out Generation Genius. I think you'll really like it. Um, and it was super easy. They have um, everything from grade K through, oh, I know it's high school, I'm not sure. But check out the link below um, and you can, you can get on that. But it's a great um, science. Um, science curriculum. The next thing that we did that was really kind of fun, I'm gonna say this wrong, is Plugo. And this is like a little, uh, what we did for music. So it hooks up to your um, tablet or your phone and basically is like a little keyboard. So this was something that she really enjoyed doing in between um, some of the lessons, it's really cute. But it's just some, some free time to kind of just play and relax. And But I like that it gives you instructions. They have to follow the instructions. And if they do, by the end of the little um, session, they're, they've learned to play a song. So it was really, really a great um, resource. The other thing we did was engineering activities for kids. You know, I know a lot of people have this book and I bought it because it I, it looked cool and we have a maker space and I said, well, this is perfect because it gives a lot of ideas. I'm gonna be honest, we didn't use it that much. We probably used it two to three times. This came in handy for like quick ideas to kind of fill up time when I didn't want them to be on um, the computer. I mean, I, I'll say this, I don't know, I think you can find the same activities in this book you can find on Pinterest, easily. So it wasn't anything that was like, ooh, ooh, that's awesome, or ooh, they're gonna like to do this. Now, what, how we used it, we changed it a bit. So we would, you, we would do one of the STEM projects, but we put our own spin to it. So I would like time them to make, see if they can do it within a certain time frame. I would time them, um, we would play music, we would um, make a whole experiment out of it and we would do, um, we would guess to see what the outcome would be. It's a cute book. So I'm not saying it's not great, but I think if you're looking for hands-on activities, it's a good resource. Um, it It's $18. Could you go on Pinterest? Probably so. but. That's not what I did, I bought it and I'm sharing it with you. So that those are the picks for science, really generation genius, the engineering activity. Remember for all of the subjects, remember they're not homeschooling like eight hours a day because they're 
littles. Um, it's a lot of play, a lot of games, a lot of activities. So don't expect your child to sit there for eight hours and like do book work or to do thing after thing after thing. If you get a good two hours, you're good. And that's broken up through the day. All right, so I hope you enjoyed all the reviews. Leave a comment and a like and uh, join us for the next video. Thanks, bye.